Two programs for federal unemployment benefits expire today. They include payments of up to $275 a week for gig workers, contract workers, and the self-employed who have lost work to COVID-19. The other program extended benefits after states' benefit periods had expired. News for Jack's reporter Ann Maxwell is joining us now with more on the effects that we could see locally. Ann? Well, the $300 a week federal unemployment benefits ended back in June. These benefits ending today from the federal government are more narrow than that. But nonetheless, the Florida Department of Economic Opportunity reports that just last week, more than 200,000 people across the state were getting these benefits. Melinda Wyatt says she's been out of work since May of 2020 and has patched together unemployment claims since then. I have been looking for other work, but I also applied for um, disability because I also have other health issues. I ran out of my first benefits and they issued out a second round. That second round expires today. It just means I'm going to have to try to work something out at least until I can do something as far as income coming in. In July, Florida's unemployment rate was at 5.1 percent. Hospitality businesses report continued problems finding workers. It's been difficult. The senior vice president with the Florida Restaurant and Lodging Association says the end of the extra $300 a month in federal unemployment benefits didn't help much. A little bit of that flowed through to interviews. Uh, but not much of it flowed through to actual employment. He says he's not clear what the effect of these benefits ending will be. We are uh, cautiously optimistic that people will, will return to the workforce. And a spokesperson with the Florida Department of Economic Opportunity says it's not too late for people to get some of this pay um, retroactively. Those gig workers, the self-employed who have lost uh, work due to COVID-19 can apply for the next 30 days to receive money they were eligible to receive uh, from before this week. Reporting live in downtown Jacksonville, I'm Ann Maxwell, Channel 4, The Local Station.